Hey everyone, welcome back. Few months ago, I made a video about programming 80 tiny 13 and 80 tiny 85 with an Arduino by using Arduino as ISP method. It's a popular method as it is quite easy and can reduce the cost of overall project as now instead of using a full fledged Atomega 328PU, you can now just use a 80 tiny which costs so much lesser than the whole Arduino board. The next level of this project is to make a shield which I basically did in this video. Also you first need to install the 80 tiny core files from github by Spence Conde. 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 Link is in video description. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Now, I'm using an Arduino Nano as main controller and I've connected a capacitor across reset pin and ground of Arduino Nano. I've added a jumper which will break the connection between capacitor and Arduino so I can program it and then connect this jumper which will then stop the board from getting reset. So I created this PCB which is basically a breakout board for Arduino Nano and added 6 DIP8 sockets in parallel connection with SPI pin of Arduino Nano. With this setup we can program up to 680 tiny at same time. So I send it to a PCB manufacturer for samples and receive it after few weeks. It took around 22 days because of this pandemic situation. After receiving the PCBs, I started assembling everything. This board only have few SMD components like 4 0603 package LEDs and 2 registers. Every other component like DIP8 socket jumper headers, capacitors, Arduino Nano are through hole. After assembling the board, I plug the Arduino Nano with my computer and flash it with a simple chaser LED sketch which will toggle LED connected to pin D7, D8, D9 and D11. After this I uploaded Arduino as ISP sketch from example sketches to this board and shorted the jumper after sketch was uploaded. I plugged out the USB cable and bring out 680Tiny85 for programming. Then I place them in dip socket carefully without applying too much pressure because guess what? If you apply too much force, the 80Tiny leg will bend. After carefully placing them in dip 8 socket, I open blink sketch and change the output pin to D0. Without changing any setting, I selected burn bootloader option and waited for few moment. After this, I just select upload with programmer and bang. My custom 80 tiny programmer was flashing the 680 tiny with same blink sketch. You will see LED flashing on pin 7 and 9. If there's a problem, then LED connected to pin 8 will blink. Now in order to test the 80 tinies, 
I put them on a breadboard and connected all of their VCC and ground together and added an LED between pin ground and D0. And as you can see, they are working. The blink sketch worked. Programmer was able to program 680 tiny in parallel at same time. Great. Now we can use it to program more than 180 tiny at same time. And that's all for today guys. PCB files, schematic, code and other info is in the hackster page of this project. So do check that out. Stay creative and keep making stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.